What's up, Ben Tenors? Toy Insanity here, bringing you that Ben 10 Tuesday update. And the first wave of Playmates figures for the reboot series for 2019 does not disappoint. We got six brand new figures. We're going to get them all unpacked, unboxed, and looked. First up, I think I'll go ahead and lay them all out. But we got Rust, Buggy, Ben. Kevin11 joins the team. We got two brand new aliens. I don't know if you're keeping up with the show. I haven't been. So these are brand new to me. And we're going to have a look at the bios and everything. Two brand new aliens. Hot shot. Slap back. Look at this dude. And the last two are returning faces from earlier incarnations. Earlier Ben 10 series. Wrath is back. And Humongousaur is back. Alright, let's see what's up with Rust Buggy Ben. So it looks like the Rust Buggy is this little go-kart. But he comes with a scooter. After stopping the Innervasion, Kid Hero Ben Tennyson takes his Alien Adventures Worldwide new rival, Kevin Eleven. Alright, so Kevin isn't joining the team this time. He's a rival. He's built his own version of Ben's Omnitrix. The Antitrix. Kevin keeps getting in Ben's way as Ben attempts to fight against the mysterious armored Forever Knights. The Forever Knights are back. Who's recruiting for an unknown agenda that looks to change the world forever? Rust Buggy Ben. When Ben hops into his off-road vehicle, the Rust Buggy, he's got a suit up for a bumpy ride. Good thing he's got new duds that are not only protective, but stylish too. You can see down here the checklist. All the older figures. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Got the whole wave one video. I don't know about your city, but where I live, there's little scooters that you can pay for with your credit card. And people just leave them all over the sidewalks. And also, they're riding them all in the road. There's, it's super dangerous. And they don't wear protective helmets like Ben here. Rust Buggy Ben with Scooter. I wonder if they will make a Rust Buggy. Loving those colors. Shoulder articulation, elbow, wrist, very nice. Hips and knees and neck. Brand new bin. Rust buggy bin. Kevin 11, you're up. Kevin wears the Antitrix. Oh, you know what that tells me. Check this out. Like I said, I don't keep up with the show, but look at the Antitrix and look at. Hot Shot. Hot Shot is the Kevin Eleven Antitrix version of who? Heat Blast. Say it ain't so. All right, Kevin Eleven. He's a year older, an inch taller, and his watch goes to 11. Equipped with his own knockoff Omnitrix, a.k.a. the Antitrix, he's going to use every alien on his dial to outdo his younger rival. Luckily for Ben, Kevin has a lot less experience with the watch and a few weaknesses of his own. But that won't stop this wild child from taking his tough guy career to the next level. 11.
same articulation. Cool looking dude. He's got alien arms, which are kind of like gauntlets. Well, what's this alien, guys? I feel like that is just going to be hot shot. Who is this? Let's transition old hot shot. A Kevified Heat Blast who brings all the firepower and 10 times the ego. Make that 11 times from his flaming fist to his molten core. Hot shot has the inner flame to take Kevin's prankish villainy from a simmer to a boil. Antitrix. Do you guys know about that? I'm, I'm always the last to know. But, the first to get these figures. Look how awesome this is. Bandai is not disappointed. Well, I'm saying that wrong. Playmates is not disappointed taking over the license from Bandai. My humble opinion. Their figures are pretty awesome. Two flaming fireball fists. The flaming fist of fire. Boom. That is hot shot. Let's go and do slapback next. When stuck on the back with enough force. When struck on the back with enough force, slapback spit, splits into smaller yet denser copies of himself. In this alien form, Ben can become his own mini strike squad. The more of him there are, the tinier they get, but don't let size fool you. They're strong and solid as a rock. Ditto used to do something like that. Echo Echo had multiple forms, multiple, he could break into multiple pieces. And there was at least one more that kind of had that going on. This might be my favorite. I'm happy to see Wrath and Humongousaur back. Look at this guy. The Omnitrix symbol is on his back. Very chunky figure. Very much Ben 10 styling. Nice articulation. Nice joints. And I love these two little dudes. They are solid one piece, green plastic with black paint accents. They almost look like they would glow in the dark. All right. Our two returners. With cat like reflexes and retractable claws that would make even a saber toothed tiger nervous, Wrath is Ben's go to extraterrestrial feline when he needs to land on both feet. Wrath not only pounces on his enemies to take them out, he brings a little more attitude into the battle than some of Ben's other transformations, making Wrath one tough cat. Let me tell you something. I'm Wrath. <laughs> Look at the new Wrath. Offhand, I wish his mouth was open like this image. Because he's always kind of yelling commands, right? Lots of posability. In the knees a little and you get that battle-ready stance. Wrath is back. What do you think? And Humongousaur. Heroes don't come much bigger than Humongousaur. Ben's out of this world dino battler. Humongousaur not only packs a mean punch, he can also slam down his long spike tail to send sonic shockwaves at unsuspecting supervillains. These bolts blindside baddies with a booming blast of sound that quakes everything in its path.
love his facial expression. This is a chunky, sizable figure. Yeah, this is my number one of the new batch. Come on. One sec. And... I have to do that later. All right. I didn't put a tail on, but look. This chunkiness. This is my number one of the new dudes. Slapback's gonna be my number two. I love the minis he comes with, and I love his chunkiness just like Humongousaur. Then I'm gonna put Wrath, my third favorite of the new releases. Boom! Give my tail, Wrath! <laughs> Then let's throw down hot shot. Oh, Kevin Levinson. And the new Rust Buggy Bang. I thought it said Kevin's an inch taller. Oops. Oopsie! <laughs> He's not taller at all. Alright. There it is, guys. Two, 2019 First Wave 6 brand new Ben 10 figures. Looking good. Thank you, Playmates. Well, it, <laughs> they just made it sound like they sent them to me. No, I found these at Walmart. They're $9 a piece. But thank you, Playmates, for making them. Give the video a big, nice, blue thumbs up. Smash that like button like you smash on Anomatrix. I'm Toy Sanity, and I'll see you real soon with some more Ben 10 figures. Ben 10 Tuesday, as well as the West, all the rest of the week, all the rest of the days of the week, with other fantastic toy lines. Take care.